Imagine this, a single pill that promises to change your life. A pill so powerful that it could help you lose weight, improve your health, and give you hope when nothing else has worked. But is it really as simple as taking one pill? And more importantly, could this be the solution you've been waiting for? Hi, I'm Dr. Hampton and I treat patients struggling with obesity and metabolic health challenges every single day. Today we're diving into something most people haven't heard of yet. A pill that has the same active ingredient as Ozempic. And as you know, Ozempic is a medication that has taken the weight loss world by storm. But here's the twist. This version doesn't require needles. By the end of this video, you'll know what this pill does and how it works in your body. Rather, it's approved for weight loss, diabetes, or both. How it compares to other options, including ketogenic and carnivore diets, and rather it's worth the cost. So stick around because this is information we all need to know. Let's start with the science. The pill contains semaglutide, the same active ingredient found in injectable Ozempic. It's part of a class of drugs known as GLP-1 receptor agonists, which mimics your body's natural GLP-1 hormone. Here's how it works. Number one, Appetite suppression. Semaglutide signals your brain that you're full. This reduces hunger and helps you eat fewer calories naturally. Number two, delay gastric emptying. Food stays in your stomach longer, giving you a feeling of fullness for hours. Number three, improved insulin sensitivity. It enhances how your body uses insulin, which is critical for those with diabetes or insulin resistance. Number four, reduce glucose production. It signals your liver to produce less sugar, improving your blood sugar control. Here's the interesting part. Ketogenic and carnivore diets achieve some of these effects naturally. Keto and carnivore diets lower insulin levels because they drastically reduce carbohydrate intake. They also reduce hunger hormones like ghrelin while increasing satiety hormones like leptin, which mimic the appetite suppressing effect of GLP-1 medications. A carnivore diet, which is a type of keto diet, can further reduce inflammation and improve insulin sensitivity because it eliminates plant toxins and focuses on nutrient-dense animal-based foods. So what's the takeaway? Medications like this work by mimicking mechanisms your body naturally achieves through low-carb diets. The question is, do you want to use a pill or tap into the body's innate potential? Now let's clear up two important things. What's the medicine and what is this medicine actually approved for? The medicine is called Rebelsis and it's an FDA-approved medicine for type 2 diabetes but not weight loss. However, many doctors prescribe it off-label for weight loss because of its effectiveness in reducing appetite and promoting fat loss. The injectable form, Ozempic, is FDA-approved for diabetes, while Wegovy is FDA-approved for weight loss. So what's the takeaway? If you're using Rebelsis for weight loss, know that it's an off-label use. Always discuss this with your doctor to ensure it's the right option for your health goal. Cost is another factor you need to consider. Rebelsis isn't cheap. Without insurance, it can cost anywhere from $800 to $1,100 per month. Even with insurance, copays can still be significant depending on your coverage. For comparison, the injectable forms Ozempic and Wegovy are similarly priced, often exceeding $1,000 per month without insurance. Meanwhile, a ketogenic or carnivore diet might require a shift in your grocery budget, but it's a more sustainable long-term investment in your health. So what's the takeaway here? These medications can be life-changing for some, but they can come at a financial cost. Diet and lifestyle changes, on the other hand, are powerful tools that don't have to break the bank. So what are some of the pros of having a pill to help you with your weight loss? Here are some of the pros. Number one, no needles, which is a great option if you dislike injections. Number two, convenience. One pill a day taken first thing in the morning is a small sacrifice to make. Number three, the metabolic benefits. It improves blood sugar control and reduces appetite. And as you know, our appetites are our biggest barrier to achieving our weight loss goal. But let's talk about some of the cons. Number one, lower efficacy is slightly less effective than the injectables. Number two, strict timing. You must take it on an empty stomach with a small amount of water and wait 30 minutes before eating. Many of my patients are super busy in the morning and don't have 30 minutes to wait to eat. Number three, of course the side effects. Nausea, diarrhea, and other gastrointestinal symptoms can occur. Number four, the cost. As mentioned earlier, affordability is a challenge for many. So what's the takeaway here? Rebelsis is a good option 
for those who prefer pills over injections, but it's not a perfect solution. As always, weigh the pros and cons with your doctor. Now here's where I need to be honest with you. There's no magic pill for weight loss or health. Medications like Rebelsis can be powerful tools, but they're only one part of the equation. The most effective medicine for obesity has been around forever real food. Low carb diets like keto and carnivore directly address the root cause of obesity, insulin resistance. Here's how they compare to GLP-1 medications. Number one, sustained results. While GLP-1 meds work as long as you take them, keto and carnivore diets offer long-term benefits by correcting metabolic imbalances. Number two, minimum side effects. Unlike medications, low carb diets don't typically cause nausea or GI distress. Instead, they nourish your body with essential nutrients. Number three, empowerment. Diet changes give you control over your health rather than relying on a prescription. So what's the takeaway here? Medications can help you get started, but sustainable health comes from addressing the root cause of your weight challenges. So as we get towards the end of this video, let me say this out loud. This is your year. This is your time. This is your moment. I challenge you to try something new this year. Rather it's a ketogenic or carnivore diet, commit to a 30 or 90 day challenge. See how your body responds to real nutrient dense foods. What do you have to lose? Even if you only get halfway to your goal, as long as you're further along than you started, you're succeeding. So what's my takeaway here? Health isn't about perfection. It's about progress. Every step forward matters. At the end of the day, rather you choose this pill, the injectables, or a new dietary approach, remember this. Health is a journey, not a destination. You got this and I'll walk with you either way. And if you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button and share it with someone who might benefit. Let's make 2025 the year we take control of our health, one step at a time. This is your journey, but let's walk it together. I'll see you in the next video.